Oh my god. <laughs> I downloaded these sims out of my library. I didn't know she was pregnant. And then I, oh, I remember now, I remember now getting her pregnant. I did not realize that the version I downloaded off my gallery, she was pregnant. Do you know what? I am really confused by the Sims team's intentions with these new scenarios. Look at this for a second, okay? I'm recording this on Saturday. On Tuesday, when these launched, we had two of them. Then the next day, we had five of them, and they were tweeting about how this one is limited time only, but it never said that in the game. And now, we have three of them again. And it's very clear that this one is limited time only. I don't really understand why, because it's just like having a bunch of toddlers. But where did the other ones go? Why? What's with the staggered? Like, I think they launched them by accident, and that's why that happened, but this is all very bizarre. The, the launch of this seems like it was a bit messy by accident. And from my understanding, it sounds like all of the other scenarios are in the game right now. Like, you downloaded them with the update, but they're sort of time locking them so that they'll come out progressively. They can just, like, turn it on when they're ready. And they must have turned them on early by accident and then turned them off again. So, I don't know. The scenarios are really weird. I'm still into the idea, but the whole launch seems to have not gone according to plan, which seems to keep happening to them recently with the kits and, you know, the leaks and stuff. But today I wanted to try another one of them. I'm thinking we could try and find some love after a breakup, you know? A messy breakup is even messier for Sims who live together. Yeah, I can imagine. Is there anything worth salvaging in this relationship or is it time to find new love? Sims will start the scenario having recently broken up with each other. So I think a couple things I'm interested in. Number one, how much are they going to be affected by this breakup? Like, are they going to have just a negative romance bar? Will the relationship actually be set to exes? Are they going to have sentiments? I mean, that's what I want to know and I'm curious to see. It also seems like this one is not so much a challenge. It's more of like a story prompt, which is kind of fun. Ooh, sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm intrigued by the new UI. These are some old Sims. I made these two in 2018. I think it could be fun to bring them back and have them have a horrible breakup. I'm sorry. Their names are Bonnie and Tess. I like them. I also like that I don't have to make Sims for this and I can just use ones that I already have. So there you go. Let's begin. These two used to be like some of my favorite Sims I ever played with. So it'll be interesting to play through their breakup story. Maybe I'll make it summertime. Summertime in Oasis Springs. What? Why do I only have 3,640 simoleons? Oh, is this because I downloaded them from the gallery and they had no money in their household? I'll probably have their careers and skills too then. All these houses are only one bedroom. <laughs> Oops. I mentioned this in my video before about scenarios, but I was saying how I think that some of these scenarios could be like kind of fun building prompts. Like even if you don't necessarily like to play the game that much, it could be fun to like make the sims if you're into cast or like build the house for the recently broken up couple. Like, I mean, imagine the story they, this could couple bought a house together. It's only one bedroom. It's a small house. Well, now they've broken up and they only have one bedroom. So somebody's sleeping on the couch. You know, you can kind of make up the story for that if you want to and, and build something for it. And I like that about it. What's the situation here? Oh, we don't get along. <laughs> Yikes. In the red in both directions. They are furious with each other. It is a terrible match. It's probably best to stay apart. There's a lot of dislike here. Like a lot. <laughs> Also, breakup blues were sad for the next 10 hours. Only 10 hours? These two used to be married. I mean, the game doesn't know that, but in my game, they were married. I feel like 10 hours is not enough time to mourn the end of a marriage. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never been divorced, but you know, 10 hours seems a bit on the short side. To be fair though, it would be really annoying if they were sad for like four days, so I'm not mad about it. I got us a new starter home. I built this one. It's also only one bedroom though, so <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have picked this one. But look, isn't it nice? Okay, so Tess here wants to be a best-selling author and is in the critic career level one and Bonnie is a doctor who wants to be a gardener. So it sounds like to end this scenario we have to basically like resolve it. So they either start dating again, they become friends, or they find someone new. I think personally I'd rather them try to get back together because I think that it's harder to do that. Maybe I'll have them make a meal. <laughs> come, come make us some breakfast. Oh my god, I put the trash can in the Simsy. Anyway, I think it's kind of hard to get sims that are broken up back together, especially when they have these like really angry sentiments towards each other. So I feel like that's what I want to try and do. Maybe Tess will avoid and just write some books or something, <laughs> you know? Just stay away. Write a sad book. Write a sad book about your breakup. One fell out of the 
What? Pain is what I'll be calling it. Oh my god. <laughs> I downloaded these sims out of my library. I didn't know she was pregnant. And then I, oh, <laughs> I remember now. I remember now getting her pregnant. I did not realize that the version I downloaded off my gallery, she was pregnant. That really complicates things. Not only are we broken up, but they're also gonna have a baby. Oh god. Okay, well, besties, I think we might need a bigger house. We might be in the market for a bit of an upgrade. And she hates children. This is just not an ideal situation, I'm not gonna lie. Whose idea was this? See, part of me is wondering if I should maybe get a Murphy bed instead of this couch. Well, it's not like they really have a choice. <laughs> You're getting a Murphy bed, because I decided you were. But if they're broken up, the Sims are gonna refuse to share a bed, so we have to do something to fix this. We have to find some sort of solution. This'll work. Now the question is, who gets the real bed? Whose fault was the breakup? We gotta pick a story. I mean, honestly, the fact that Bonnie hates children is not super ideal, <laughs> so maybe it had to do with that. That. Maybe she referred to the baby as demon spawn and then Tess got upset. I mean, to be fair, stress in a relationship like this, it makes sense, you know? It doesn't need to be a person at fault. It's just a stressful time. They live in a one bedroom house and, you know, she's having a baby and they don't have a lot of money, you know. No one needs to do something like dramatic and horrible <laughs> to cause a breakup like this. Sometimes things just don't work out. Oh, please. Johnny Zest. I mean, what if we dated Johnny Zest instead? This Sim is pretty. Look at her. She also got quite the outfit on. The jewelry combo here is really not adding up. Like, she has, first of all, two shades of gold, but also the bracelet choices, the ring, all of this together is, it's a lot. If there's one thing they're not good at, let me tell you, it's its matching their outfits. <laughs> this is awkward. The neighbors are like fascinated by these two. They're like, hey, how, how are you guys doing? Everything okay in here? How's the baby? <laughs> Ew, what is that? What did you just change into? Oh my god, are these sims pre- <gasps> I think these sims are pre the hot and cold weather update. These sims are pre-seasons, so they don't have hot and cold- <laughs> Oh, Bonnie, why did you pick this one? Well, I was just making fun of sims not being able to match. Maybe I should take that back. Perhaps you match too well. This is embarrassing. The fact that I didn't remember that they didn't have hot and cold weather outfits is embarrassing. I would have thrived if I had cottage living when I made these two. It would have been perfect. Oh my god. See? Bowling? A bowling shirt, Tess? <laughs> okay, hear me out. We get like a summer holiday kind of vibe. Okay. Oh my. These- why do these pants even exist? Let's be honest with ourselves for a second. Why? Okay, sorry. D2 are over. I didn't even need to bother with cold weather outfits probably because they live in Oasis Springs in the summertime, but that's fine. Oh no. Still furious from being furious with someone nearby. Well, maybe we could- what if we, um, what if we watched a movie together? What? You guys are sitting on my couch. She's pregnant! Let her have a seat! I'm hoping that the movie would be a nice, simple way to, you know, lower the red. Can you guys leave? Like, actually, though, I really don't want to deal with you today. Maybe I'll apologize. Just start off simple. Share the big news, brighten day, argue about social anxiety. Okay, that might be a little bit too soon. Why is that? I've never seen that option before. Oh, they don't like each other. Well, I did click argue about social anxiety, didn't I? Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> hmm, I wonder why they're still mad at each other if they are arguing. I'm so shocked by this. Okay, Bessie, Johnny, I, I don't know how to say this nicely, but like, leave. You are not welcome here. Oh, she's crying herself to sleep. Righteously indignant from feeling furious with someone nearby. A sense of being wronged has given Tess confidence in the righteousness of her grievances. She is ready to diss out accusations. Okay. You know, I can't say I recommend that. You two don't have to get back together, but at the very least, you need to stop fighting. For the sake of the baby, we need to get along. Maybe I'll ask a question about the movie's plot. You know, small talk. We'll chat about the film. Okay, you didn't like it. Criticize woohoo techniques. Stop arguing! Please! You two are unbearable! <sighs> How about we go build a sand sculpture together? Come on, let's build a sand castle. This'll be nice, it's a bonding activity. See? Is that a shark? Well, that's nice. Now make another one. The baby's gonna love this. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. Oh, look! Yeah, keep making the sharks. You two obviously can't talk to each other, so. <laughs> so what you need to do instead is make sand castles. Oh, a gnome! Oh, we're in the red, they're giggling. This works, this works. A turtle? Oh, good choice. Solid choice. Okay, maybe they could go out somewhere tonight. I don't know, I'm just thinking of ideas, like, what if we went to the park for a walk? Neither of them are sad anymore about the breakup either. Yeah, let's- let's go for a walk in the park. Get some fresh air. A distraction, perhaps. Bonnie, I brought you here. Come here. No, I switched control- oh. Do you know what? I don't need this right now, Sims team. I don't need this right now. You might be asking yourself, Kayla, 
I thought you were gonna post the shell challenge tours today. To which I would respond, yeah, until the file corrupted. So I'm doing this instead. <laughs> so that I still post a video, because I don't have time to re-record them right now. Um, so you know what, Sims game? I don't need you to test my patience. Oh, they could play chess together. That's probably a good one. It's it's all about games, you know? Oh, she is in her second trimester now. That's not looking good for us. Morgan, I don't- I'm kind of busy trying to bond with my, um, ex. I was trying to decide between saying, like, with the mother of my child and my ex. I mean, both are accurate, but the, the real problem we're having right now is the ex thing. That's- that's the big concern at the moment, so they're getting closer. At least they aren't like raging around each other anymore. We still have the furious sentiment, but that it, it's going away. Oh, and Tess has work at 6 a.m. I probably should go home. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I think that Bonnie gets the real bed. As the resident pregnant person, <laughs> I feel like she gets the real bed. Although I'm pretty sure that this bed is actually the better one, like as far as quality goes, but I don't know. She has to be pregnant, so she can keep the bedroom. It feels like a fair trade-off. And also she's mad enough already. She's been tense permanently, so maybe we should just let her have what she wants. Do you want to have some eggs and toast? Oh, Tess is gonna make breakfast for herself and not Bonnie. She's making a single serving. That is rude. She also has to go to work in five minutes. I don't even get to eat it, so just go. Just go. Oh, she washed the dish, okay. Oh. I'm sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> it sucks. All right, here, here. Serve some pancakes. Get a bunch of extras. You don't have work until- Oh. Oh, maybe stop serving the pancakes. Sorry. 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 Oh, she's serving the pancakes. She's not gonna get to eat these before work. I thought she had work at nine, not eight. Sorry. So sorry. Oh my god, you lit the house on fire? Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. That is arguably my fault. Uh, oh, could you imagine? Tess gets home from work. She walks in and the house is burnt down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, it's so expensive. This is not good for us. Okay, just go right. Earbuds, oh, that's money. Okay, do you canoe? Haha, -ha. you just got pranked. Wow, you really got me. You really got me there. Now she's in a bad mood. I can't have this. Oh, level four, okay. Yeah, keep writing that book called Pain then. <laughs> Bonnie's back. We got our money back today, so that's okay, I guess. Maybe? Maybe. I'll come and invite her to feel the baby. Ask what Tess's problem is. Oh. Maybe tell a joke about penguins. No, no, stop yelling at each other. Why is it offensive? Why? Why? Okay, we can't. No, no, we can't talk. We can't talk. You two are not allowed to talk. You can play games and that's it. You know what? Actually, maybe that humor and hijinks festival could be good for them. We'll get them out of this angry mood. We'll do some jokes. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> Is she in her third trimester? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, mommy. Sorry, mommy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That wasn't funny. Took that one a little bit literally. You guys look stupid in your work outfits. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> Don't drink that! Oh wait, I told her to drink that. That's the jokester stuff. It's not alcohol. Don't worry. Okay, well I'm feeling playful. <gasps> well, Lily's feeling flirty. Uh oh. I don't think Tess likes me flirting with Lily right in front of her. Uh, Lily didn't like it either. <laughs> Why do you hate me so much? I'm just trying to tell some jokes. That's all. I thought jokes would go over well, but it's still unpleasant. I feel like I should stop making them hang out with each other. Bonnie's almost done being furious but Tess isn't. Wait, casual discussion. That's an improvement. All right, I don't want to be that guy, but like maybe we could take a selfie. Oh, Penny Pizzazz is in it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like a celebrity sighting. They saw Penny Pizzazz in the wild, so they took a picture with her. Now they're better friends, see? I probably should go home. They're both really tired and I think Tess is smelly. Oh, Tess isn't even smelly. I thought that there was like an aura of stink around Tess, but maybe I imagined that one. <laughs> I may have made that up. Okay, well, I'm gonna have Tess cook some dinner. Fingies crossed, no one starts a fire. Oh my god, you have to pee so often. It's almost like you're pregnant or something. Here, look, dinner's ready. Maybe you could thank Tess for her efforts. Apologize for being a meanie. I don't know. You think it's a bad idea to make a flirtatious joke? Oh, probably. <laughs> she left anyway, never mind. <sighs> Vlad, you know how I said I have little to no patience for this right now? I meant it. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. All right, let's go. Let's go have the baby at the hospital. Wait, is Tess not coming? All right, that's strike three. It's a girl. Maybe I'll randomize it. Sierra, Tracy, Matilda was one of them. Oh, I love that. Matilda. <laughs> Twins? Do you know what? It's like I've played a cruel prank on myself because I probably intentionally got her pregnant with twins in 2018 and then forgot. <laughs>
Fine, fine. Matilda and Liam, fine. Those are the names, those are the babies. Matilda and Liam. I don't really have any space for them is the problem. Maybe I'll put one of them here. Wait, I'll get rid of some of the items and then I'll put another one of them over here. Okay, maybe you take care of this one and you take care of the other one. Do you know what? Maybe that's the helpful part of having twins. We got two people, so one at a time. It all works, it's fine. There is no way they're getting back together now. Vlad, I just had a baby, leave me alone. Anyway, there is no way with this kind of stress happening, there's no way they're getting back together now. Who has the time? Her energy is barely going up. She has work at 8 a.m. You have work and oh god. Well, do you know what? If they go to work, well then no one has to take care of the babies, you know? Because they'll be at work. <laughs> So maybe that's a good thing. It saves us some pain. I know in like real life, that's kind of the opposite of what you want, but this is The Sims. Daycare is free. Okay, off you go to work. No babies. Wait, why are they still here? They didn't get sent to daycare? Oh, geez. Not you. No, I don't, I don't want to deal with a neighborhood action plan inspector. No, what part of I don't have the patience for this do you not understand? <sighs> I'm just gonna take a nap. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'm gonna take a nap. Could use some of that in real life too. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll make some food so that when Bonnie gets home, she's got some options. I'll make some mac and cheese. Her last name is Kraft. So, I am so angry at myself for having twins. I just, I'm like thinking back to a few years ago. I remember getting her pregnant now. I didn't know that obviously when I put her on the gallery, she was pregnant at the time. So I, I thought that like what the Sims that I downloaded were like the initial version of the Sims, not the ones that I had been playing with. But I had also forgotten that it was twins. So I just, this is like the ultimate gotcha moment for me. <laughs> I really did this to myself. Well, welcome home, Bonnie. I made you some food and then you can go to sleep. See, I got it. I got the kids. Don't worry. I'm taking care of them. Here, sleep in the other room. No babies. All right, I'm getting out the house. I'm, I personally am done caring for the children. I am over it, so I assume the Sims are too. I might try and see if they want to flirt. They're both in good moves. Moods, I mean, not good moves. How about we remember some common interests? See? Maybe get to know her. It's an unpleasant conversation. That's not a good sign. Okay, casual discussion. How about you just say she looks pretty? Love the new outfit. We flirt a little bit. Talk about your dreams. Hey, you seeing anybody? No, no, it do they don't like it. Do you know what? I'm trying not to do anything sneaky to get them back together. Cause like there are, oh God, there are easy ways to do that. It's not going that way though. But like if we just took some selfies, they'd get back together on a snap, you know? I'm trying to play it realistically, but they're really testing me. Maybe they're only destined to be friends. Look, I fixed it. You see how close they are? Look at that. We could become best friends. Oh, we can't become best friends. Do they still hate each other? Bonnie still is mean. You'll find, oh, I can become best friends? <laughs> well, what, did I finish it or not? She didn't like being flirted with. Did I win the scenario or not? I thought I became best friends. We're deeply connected. Hello. I found love. Hello. I fixed it. The game is testing me again. It's not even the game's fault that I'm in a bad mood, but it, they're not helping. Oh, and Matilda and Liam are back from daycare. Can they woohoo? Can we do some like hate woohooing? We're opposite. To hate woohoo, you need to be all red friendship and all green romance. Or all pink, I guess. Party? No. What if you tried to make a move? Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> oh, 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 she almost did it and then she got nervous. Come Come on, Bonnie. <gasps> Suggestive conversation? Oh. Snuggle? <gasps> they kissed! What? <gasps> what? Oh. Oh no. Oh, this is a disaster. Well, I don't want to take care of the crying baby because, I mean, look what, look where this is going. Sorry, children. You'll have to wait. Your parents are falling in love. <laughs> this doesn't feel like a healthy relationship. I feel like considering they can't even talk to each other without arguing, in my humble opinion, I think that this is maybe a mistake. Meanwhile, the babies are crying in the other room. It's almost Liam's birthday? I don't agree. I don't agree. I don't agree. Okay, I think they might be able to sleep together in this bed. I don't- I think that they might be close enough that they'll be okay with it. <gasps> Progress. I hate it here. 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 I can't deal with the crying. I made this ten times harder for myself. <laughs> Every time I think I have peace and quiet. Okay, no one's flirty anymore, but are we still feeling like up to it? No. No, we're not. Okay. <laughs> Last night was a fluke, apparently. <laughs> We're crying ourselves to sleep. Because I, I do. I respect that. I think you have the right idea. No, I'm not going to Batu. I'm telling you, the game and my patience. Baby's birthdays are tomorrow. That's terrible. Baby's crying again. That's terrible. This isn't even the scenario at this point. This is literally just me struggling to care for infants. Oh, now they're at daycare. Ooh, hey. Got promoted. <gasps> I took a steamy shower. 
I see so there's some potential here. Sexy pose. As soon as she gets home from work. The babies are crying again. We might have to leave the house. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, you can do it. Ask to be girlfriend. <gasps> yeah. Come on, we're getting there. Oh my, look at this outfit. Okay, the cheetah print and the cat slippers. I kind of like it. What are you doing? I want them to woohoo in a bush, so I will. Try for a baby with Bonnie. I don't think so. We're soulmates. <laughs> Scenario complete, finding love after a breakup. Game time elapsed, four days. Rock solid romance. A sim is soulmates with someone they've never broken up with. Wait, oh no, we broke up. It appears to me that the game glitched this one a little bit. <laughs> Does it think that we never broke up? Is that why the best friends thing didn't work? Because we became best friends like two days ago, but it didn't work. Right. So something's going on here and it's not good. It was fun to test it out though. And it was fun to get to play with, with Bonnie and Tess again. Although I'm not a huge fan of their babies. I'm not gonna lie. They cry a bit too much. Oh, Gemma, are you flirting with Jeb? Okay. I mean, I can't say I blame you. Look at this guy, <laughs> barefoot. Bag on the head and all. That didn't really go as planned. It actually didn't really work at all. But you know, we tested out another scenario, so that's fun. I'll try some more in the future as they come out. Maybe the two that they stole will come back. <laughs> we can test those out. And maybe this one will work next time. Did it work when you tried it? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments. And I think I stand by my opinion on this. I like this as a story prompt. Like if you wanna make a household and you're not really sure what the storyline should be and you're looking for some inspiration, this is fun. And obviously you don't have to stop playing once they fix the thing. Like if you had a Sim that had broken up with someone and they end up getting back together, well maybe they can go on to get married and have kids in the future. And you can kind of play the whole family that way. But it gives you like that nugget to start with, which I think sometimes I need. So I can imagine you might need that too. I like it. I like scenarios. I still like them. Even if they glitch. I'm disappointed, but I am not surprised. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will link my too many toddlers one down below. And with that all being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye everybody. Don't worry, I will post the shell tours this week. I simply have to re-record them, which causes me pain and stress. So I, I couldn't bring myself to do it today. I'm sure you can imagine. <laughs>